How's it going, friends? Reckless Yugi here. Hope you guys are doing fantastic. Thank you guys for checking out the video. I do greatly appreciate it. And in this video, I want to discuss something with you guys that I found very alarming. Something that's just completely rocking the foundation in which I built my knowledge of gaming monitors or just monitors in general and input latency. Now, I need your guys' help to let me know in the comments section if I'm a complete idiot. And if you have any friends who are really tech savvy or understand the difference of different input latencies and monitor types, please share this video with them so that I could also get some additional input because I'm kind of at a loss of words or reason as to why this exists because the foundation of which I built my knowledge on is that CRT technology is the fastest technology we have when it comes to display lag and input latency and that anything else other than CRT will have inherent display latency just because of the nature of the technology. And the CRT is just, when it receives a signal, it displays it instantly where a any other modern day monitor will have to process that signal before it's displayed. And that's what causes the input latency. So in order to do a test, when I have a new monitor, I have this old CRT here that I use in order to do the testing. Uh, this one right here, and this is the E771A from Dell, and it's a monitor that's capable of going up to 85 hertz. So it's not no slouch when it comes to refresh rates. It's not as good as a Samsung 140 hertz CRT, but it's a CRT nonetheless, therefore it should have no input latency. Now, when it comes to the test, uh, basically this is the timer that I use, which a lot of people use when it comes to these sort of tests because it's something easily accessible, and it's not a professional setup, I understand that, but it should give me consistent results. And if I press play, you see the milliseconds going, then the seconds, then minutes, but we really care about the milliseconds here. So when you're comparing the two different monitors, you basically have them set up to mirror each other so that this image gets sent to both monitors at the same time. And then you look at the milliseconds and whichever monitor has a higher amount of milliseconds will have the lower input latency compared to the other monitor and that's how you're supposed to read this test. So if we go to a video that I recorded at 240 hertz, because this BenQ on the right here is a 240 hertz monitor, and the Dell here is set to 85 hertz, I made sure to run the test, and, <laughs> and basically, um, as you can see, the BenQ is faster right now on the screen by 30 milliseconds. So as you see, it says 329 versus the 299, and if we just let it play, this is kind of how it looks when I'm recording the screen. And stop, it still shows that the BenQ is 30 milliseconds faster. Just uh, next frame, next frame. So as you see, 30 seconds. Right here, it jumped to 40 seconds, or 40 milliseconds, and then here it goes back down to 30 milliseconds. So it's on average 30 milliseconds faster than my CRT. And the way that I have this hooked up is basically the Dell, the CRT monitor is uh, connected to the same graphics card, which if you're curious about my build, I have two 980 Ti's in SLI and the BenQ and the Dell were plugged into the same card. So it shouldn't have any difference. Um, the way that the monitor hooked up to it because there is no VGA out is a DVI to VGA converter, which will have no input latency whatsoever. So, but yet I'm having a lower input latency with the BenQ. So my only determination right now is that possibly CRTs aren't the standard when it comes to input latency anymore. And that possibly we surpassed it with the modern monitors that we have now, which I'm still very blown away because I looked up old forums and tried to determine if there was any known issues with this monitor specifically, which is the E771A again. And I looked up some forums to see if there was any sort of known latency when it comes to a DVI to VGA converter. I looked up some other forums to determine to see if there was any known input latencies of modern cars when it comes to the output versus the display port, HDMI, and the DVI output of the card, which I also determined that there shouldn't be any. <laughs> so I'm under the impression right now that the CRTs aren't the standard of you know monitor latency and that anyone still playing on a CRT for modern competitive games might actually be putting themselves at a significant disadvantage compared to the mon modern monitors that we have now. So that's kind of where I'm at. So once again, if you guys know anyone or know anything about this, please share it with them or let me know in the comments below to, I guess, either 
validate that my findings are true and there couldn't be any possible flaw with this, or there is a flaw that you know about, please correct me and I'll try to do an update video on this soon. But if I don't find anyone giving me any real reason why this is a flaw, then I will pursue and make this review for this monitor, especially for you guys who are interested in this review. But this is something that I want to stop and kind of discuss with you guys because it's something that is just, you know, something that is completely shocking to me. And I want to make sure that I understand this before I put out a review in order to inform you guys. And, you know, I don't want to spread misinformation is what I'm basically saying. I'm trying to take the honest route to let you guys know that I don't understand what is going on right now except for the fact that I'm determining that my BenQ is faster than my CRT. And it's not only this BenQ, because I also did this test with other monitors. <laughs> um, if you guys like to see, uh, let's see, I'll show you guys another video here. So here I have another test that I did a few days ago, and I basically have my BenQ XL 2540 here, and then this is a generic BenQ monitor. I can't remember the model name off the top of my head right now, but it's like a GL something. It's a 60 hertz monitor, and I got it refurbished for $100. And if we look at the frames, my BenQ is about, you know, 40 milliseconds faster than this, which is understandable. I mean, it should be 40 seconds faster, another 40 seconds faster. And now it's 30 seconds faster. So basically this really cheap BenQ is on par with this Dell CRT monitor. They're about the same according to this test. So on the screen now, I have the BenQ XL 2540, the 240 hertz monitor, which I'm doing the testing on right here. And then up here, I have the XL 2420G, which is the 144 hertz G-Sync monitor from BenQ. And then as you can see the difference in the frame, the BenQ, the 244 hertz is, you know, showing 10 milliseconds faster than the 144 hertz. And if we just keep going, it's always slightly ahead of the 144 hertz BenQ. So it makes it a little bit faster. And the 244 hertz is definitely a lot smoother when it comes to gaming. Now, if you're looking at the screen and see that it doesn't really seem to keep refreshing, um, that's just because the problems with the program, it's not really set to 144 hertz or 240 hertz is what I kind of determined. But as I just kind of go through this, you can see that the 204 hertz monitor is constantly ahead of the 144 hertz. So I just showed you guys some other tests when it comes to monitors with the BenQ XL 2540 versus a cheaper BenQ versus my old 144 hertz BenQ. And from those, the 144 hertz BenQ that I have is also faster than a CRT, but the really cheap BenQ isn't. And so that is something that I also found very interesting and that I'm not sure if this is really being discussed or if anyone else has determined this or there's just some issue that I have with my setup. But once again, everything's hooked up to the same graphics card. There shouldn't be any differences, but there is. So once again, let me know in the comments below and I look forward to hearing your guys' responses and depending on the responses I get, I will be coming out with this review shortly, so stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching. Thank you very much, and I'll talk to you guys again in the next one, all right? Bye.